Hello everybody, David here with David T. Pilot Aquaponics. Just wanted to give you a quick update on my aquaponics garden. Uh, cabbage, this is my red cabbage, uh, just huge. It's growing really, really well. Um, basil has come back. That's about the fourth time this basil's come back. <laughs> if it hits seven, I'm going to call it cat basil. <laughs> it definitely has multiple lives. Uh, my habanero peppers finally started growing some peppers. Look at that little guy right there. And i got a bunch of them down here. So looking forward to seeing, or I should say tasting these peppers. i got a bunch of them. They're all popping up everywhere. That's really cool. I just trimmed this kale back right here. It was out of control. The kale is just growing like mad. Just look at it. It is just crazy. We actually are producing more kale than we can we can eat. So we're asking friends. Uh, kale is kind of a weird thing. People aren't necessarily that familiar with it yet. Um, at least the people we know. But it is a superfood. So here's my red lettuce. I let it go to seed just for fun. Uh, it bolted and waiting for uh, it to just go to seed and see if we can grow some extra. This um, shade cloth right here has, has really worked for another purpose and that's to keep birds. I have it up right now but so to film this but uh, it helps keep the birds out of the tomatoes. They're eating my tomatoes and that was ticking me off because we had some really nice tomatoes. This uh, tomato plant is ridiculous right now. Um, tomatoes everywhere. On this side, on the other side there's, there's even more. Um, over here I have some more carrots growing. Um, I have successfully grown some carrots and they tasted really good. Which is kind of a funny thing to grow in aquaponics you would think, but it works great. Here's some more kale. This is just... i got to back up so you can see it. It's just crazy. Look at all that. Look at the size of these leaves. Now this is the mature... This would be considered mature kale. Look how big this leaf is. I mean, my gosh, look at my hand to this. Sorry for the jumping video here. That's just unbelievable. Look at the size of this plant. It's just growing like mad. Um, over here I have my eggplants. They're starting to really come along. Um, we've eaten several of them already. These plants are growing pretty really... They're getting really big. And so, And then this tomato plant just burst out like in two weeks time. It just went from, you know, producing some tomatoes, and this is the third time it's produced tomatoes now. So, it hasn't died like everything I read said it would do. Um, it's just, there are just tomatoes everywhere. They're all buried in there. There's literally 50 or 60 tomatoes in there. So, and of course I have kale everywhere. I sh I've overplanted kale, but <laughs> it's okay. That's a new cu cucumber plant planted a few weeks ago. Um, much to my surprise, it already is growing, growing little cukes, which is awesome because the cucumbers that come out of this garden are just so good. You know, you, you get spoiled with this kind of food. You never want to eat store-bought again. So that's my quick update on the growth. It's just really, really uh, well, going well. And while I'm at it, I'll just give you a quick shot of, um, I did some swirl filters, pre-filters to uh, get the solids out and this bucket right here um, I wrapped in foil tape it's about seven dollars a roll at Home Depot um, took me about a half a roll to do that whole bucket and it only took about I don't know five minutes to wrap it which was really cool this bucket was growing tons of algae um, so that foil tape keeps the light out and now it doesn't grow any and this bucket over here this is water that comes from the top of the of the fish tank. It comes in. It, it does a really good job. Um, but what I did with this one is it was a white bucket. I painted it green and then painted it again white uh, to help keep the, the temperature down. Um, and zero algae grows in there because it cut all the light out. So I just wanted to update you on that as well. So I said I'd give you some updates as they came. And I haven't done an update grow video in a while. So there it all is. I hope everybody is uh, doing well with their aquaponics ventures, and uh, keep growing, guys.